Hello guys, thanks for watching. Welcome to Do It All episode five and thank you so much to Herbal Essences for sponsoring today's video. We're already on a little bit of like a different path in this Do It All because I normally start these in the kitchen. I normally make my list in the kitchen, but Chad's been working in there today. All his stuff is everywhere, so I was like, I'm just gonna do this in the living room. We'll make our list in the dining room and then we'll get to work. As usual, a lot of things I wanna get done today. I need to do a quick whole house pickup. I call it like a house refresh when you just go around your whole house, put things away if they are, you know, like where they're not supposed to be, do a really quick wipe down. Not any super deep cleaning, just trying to get through the house. And then I need to put something together in the workout room. I need to put all the Christmas bins downstairs. I actually started to make a list for today on my phone. So I'm gonna start with that. Go through that we have some cooking to do i want to do a really easy salad recipe and then a really easy dinner recipe so lots of fun stuff to share today hope you guys enjoy this video please like and subscribe if you do my christmas decorating videos are posted below i just posted a part two of christmas decorating so we are officially done and then i also have the do it all playlist down below if you missed any of the last episode so let's make our list and then we'll get to it since chad's putting away groceries it's kind of loud out there we're gonna make this list in my office of today so let's do a house refresh i would love to scrub our shower if i can make the time for it i have things to cook for lunch and dinner um did i put no the xmas bins i need to put away all of those, this office is filled with so many storage bins that are in the way. And before I get into my first project of the day, I wanted to quickly share a little bit of my getting ready routine with you. Many of you know that Herbal Essences is one of my all-time favorite affordable hair care brands. I've been using their products since I was little. I'm sure many of you have too. And lately, I've been using their Smooth Rose Hips Shampoo and Conditioner. These work together to nourish and restore the hair's natural shine, leaving it soft and sleek. It's infused with a blend of rose hips, vitamin E, and jojoba extracts. I love how this combination of products makes my hair look and feel. I can always rely on these to remove oil, excess product buildup from my hair while still leaving it feeling hydrated and healthy. These products are pedo cruelty free, they are dermatologist tested and color safe, and the scent is so good. Think of a luscious floral bouquet and rose petals that last long after your wash. A true Truly iconic scent. I'm done washing my hair, so now I'm on to styling. I like to do a little bit of a rough blow dry, and then I also like to use a round brush for even more smoothness to help me get any kinks or wave out of my hair. One of my must-have beauty essentials is definitely Herbal Essences. I know I can rely on this brand to deliver exactly what I need. It's a tried and true fan favorite brand and has been for years. I love the shampoo and conditioner because it's gentle, safe, and clean and leaves my hair feeling refreshed and healthy while still smelling amazing. I'm going to link these products below for you. Definitely check them out and give them a try. And as you can see, I'm almost done with the blow drying. Once that's good to go, I'll do a very quick flat iron, similar to the rough blow dry, just a rough flat iron, not sectioning my hair, just going through the ends to get any remaining waves or kinks out. I wasn't able to get out with my not so good blow drying skills. And that is everything. So simple, so easy. This is my everyday hair routine, or I should say every few days hair routine when I wash it. Just straight, smooth, sleek, and good to go. We're gonna start this house refresh with the basement because it's the easiest. I love starting projects like this, like house cleaning with the easiest project because you get some momentum going, you wanna keep going, versus when you start with the hardest and the most tedious one that takes the longest, it's like, I don't even wanna do this. So do yourself a favor, start with something easy, work your way up. Here's what we're dealing with in the play zone, just small pieces here, there, and everywhere from toys. I'm gonna to gather all of those up, gather all this stuff, fluff some pillows, take any water glasses and coffee cups upstairs, and it'll be good to go. I am a woman, not here to please you. 
It's time to move on cause my time is now I am a woman, play by my own rules I got my two feet on solid ground And then I take the first step a million more And I make mistakes I never made before But either way I know I made up my mind I'm through feelings gay, I'm leaving all that behind So I'm gonna let it shine on you Make room for everything that's true Do whatever I wanna do And then I let it shine on you, you. And we are good to go down here. So we really just try and set up a lot of different activities. Loves the fire truck, loves to climb. He's not really into his kitchen right now. That's why it's in the corner. He loves to mess up all the pillows. As you saw, he loves pointing at things in that book right now. That's why it's open. The slides over here, the shape sorter. And then of course, loves cars. So that's another activity. Stamps, he just got stamps. Just a lot of activities to keep him occupied as long as possible. And we are continuing this whole house refresh upstairs. I grabbed several things hanging out on the stairs on my way up. I brought some recycling down on my way back to grab the camera. And now I'm going to straighten up Forest Room and our room. Have any of you guys ever worked at a store growing up where you had to like turn the lights on, turn the open sign on, and open the blinds, that kind of thing? I almost feel like I'm opening the house for business when I do this kind of thing in the morning. Just straighten up everything, make sure that the curtains are open, that the sun shine is pouring in that the bedding is straightened up it makes me feel so good when all of this stuff's done it's kind of like how you feel when you get yourself ready in the morning you feel prepared for the day i feel prepared for the day when i get the house ready too So the bed is just about made. I'm going to grab everything off our nightstands. Many of you know we've been sick with sinus infections. So our nightstands are just the epitome of like sick world. The Kleenex, the cough drops, the hot tea, the water glasses, everything. It accumulates a lot throughout the evening and night as we're trying to get better. I'm going to turn on our Christmas tree and forest Christmas tree and then our bedrooms will be ready for the day. Forest room's good to go and ready for the day. His cute little Christmas tree is on. His sleep sack's ready for tonight, so we don't have to go looking for it. I am going to leave his humidifier running and ours. We all need it. And then our bedroom's ready to go to. The bed's made, the Christmas tree's on, the nightstands are all cleared off, forest stuff's put away. That was in here, the humidifier's running. The last two things I want to do before making lunch is just check the bathroom, make sure there's no clothes. Well, I know there's clothes. So grab the clothes off the floor in there, straighten up the counter. I'm gonna straighten up this hallway real quick because it's such a catch-all, and then we'll make a really good salad. Yeah, I go hard, wanna find some peace, so I pray to 
to God to find a way to fix it all. Okay, lunchtime. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. I'll put in some music and just do a little bit of talking. Um, I've been really trying to eat a lot more salads lately and just learn different salad recipes because as we know, there's like a million different salad recipes out there. And if you have a couple just automatically in your brain and it's a habit and you know to pick those things up at the grocery store and you know you like it and it's easy and it's a routine, then you'll eat it more and eat healthier. So that's what I've been trying to do. So this is a 50-50 blend. I just wanted spinach, but they only had this, so that's totally fine. Um, some bacon that Chad, he made this like an hour ago for me. Some candied pecans, cranberries, apple, I'm gonna slice this up. Blue cheese, I never really liked blue cheese until like six months ago, and now I'm always looking for things that have it in it, which is so weird. Red onion, we're gonna use a white balsamic honey mustard dressing, and then I'm gonna add an avocado because this guy is getting soft and needs to be used up. So, I'm gonna mix it in a mixing bowl. Salads always taste better when you mix them before you put them in the bowl. I don't make the rolls, but seriously, it is just so much better than pouring everything on top and then you have to mix it. Some bites don't have dressing, some bites have too much. Like, it just tastes better when you do this. So whenever I make salads like this, I always like to make them very stuff heavy, like all of the other ingredients aside from the greens. I feel like the more there is, the better it tastes. If you guys have any really good salad recipes or just any like really fast and easy recipes that you enjoy making at home for lunch, feel free to leave them in the comments below. All done, it looks so good. I'm gonna bring one up to chat. He's on a phone call right now. But first, but first we've gotta try it. Get a little bit of everything on the bite. So good. Mm. These Christmas decor bins have been taking up the vast majority of the floor space in my office 
for a few weeks now and now that I'm finally finished decorating, I cannot wait to get these back in storage and finally have this room back. It has been very hard to do anything in here with all of this stuff, but at the same time, I wanted to keep it out until I knew I was done. That way I wasn't up and down the stairs a million times. So one trip, all of it up, one trip, all of it down. And then in a few months, once everything's coming down, I'll have to do this all over again. It's still so worth it. Lots and lots of work to decorate for Christmas, but so, so worth it. I also needed to pick up this DIY project for my Christmas Decorate With Me Part 2 where I tried to make some ornaments. I didn't love how they turned out, but many of you told me you liked them, so thank you so much for that. This is my little workshop area for Christmas. It has an electric fireplace in it. I will be wrapping presents right here. I cannot wait to get started on that very, very soon. And next on my list is this guy. I bought it a couple weeks ago. It's just been sitting in the garage. This is called a station power tower. I don't know if you can tell from this picture, it's sideways. Um, it's basically for your abs and your thighs. And I really love these when I used to work out at real gyms like so many years ago. It's just way more comfortable and way easier than regular crunches and just about any other machine I've ever tried. So I'm gonna have Chad help me bring this upstairs and then I'm gonna start putting it together. Okay, I'm making mommy pizza roll-ups, that's what I'm calling them, with hidden broccoli. It's just frozen broccoli. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave and steam it for a few minutes. And I'm going to chop this really tiny so that Forrest has no idea it's in there. So this is not a groundbreaking recipe because it's for a two-year-old. I have some crescent rolls. I have a pizza seasoning, pepperoni, pizza sauce, shredded mozzarella, and then um, she, or shredded Parmesan. I'm gonna put this on at the very end. So this is a recipe I kind of made up as I went and I'm very impressed with myself that it actually worked out. I put the pizza sauce down, the broccoli, Forrest didn't even notice the broccoli, I was afraid that he would. The pizza, or not the pizza, the pepperoni I cut into small pieces. That way it's in every bite for Forrest. If you're making this for adults, I wouldn't worry about it. And then as you can see, I'm rolling the crescent roll the opposite way than you normally would if you were just making these without any extra ingredients. So that way it makes a little pizza pocket. I wrap the ends around the opposite side and I'm just gonna repeat this until I run out of crescent rolls.
The last thing I'm doing is adding pizza seasoning on top. That is it. I put them in the oven. I followed the directions on the crescent roll package. I believe it was 375 degrees and I cooked these for about 10 to 12 minutes. So really so fast, so easy. While I'm waiting for that timer to go off, I'm going to hurry up and clean up the kitchen so that it's done before we eat. I love to do that. Like it's just a race against the timer when your food's cooking and you get as much done. You wash all the dishes, you wipe down the counters, do all the things so that you can enjoy your meal, put the plate in the dishwasher and you don't have to worry about everything else that you use to make the meal. I'm not gonna be there for you. Cause you were never there for me mm. Don't go ask me what you did wrong mm. Ignorance will never see No, was it me for me? So I just pulled these ones out of the upper oven. The bottom one has twice as much, so it just needs like another minute or so. I'm gonna see if I can get, it's probably gonna stick. And I'm gonna put this in for like 30 seconds so the Parmesan can slightly melt. And now let's add that Parmesan on these bottom ones. And there you have it, really easy. They look like a little calzone. I hope Boris likes it. I'm gonna start cutting him some of these since it's been sitting out a little longer. Okay guys, that's just about everything for today. I'm gonna to start working on this video so I can get it up for you. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new. Check out the links below, recent videos and more. And I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.